Hello, everybody. I don't know if you can hear me. Yeah, can you hear Jimbo? Say hi. Who knows? Yeah. Let us know in the chat. Buddy, they said they can hear us. Yeah, loud and clear they said. Do you want to say anything to your adoring fans? No, now you're quiet. Here. Oh, say hi. You say hi? No? Okay. No bite. Here, we'll do a quick, quick hello, but we still got some setting up to do. Say hi. Say hi. Well, apparently he doesn't want to. Okay, we'll be on in just a sec. Okay. Oh my gosh. Such a baby. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Our audio's been on this whole time, bud. Yeah, they've heard you screaming at me. Let's go, let's go let Jules know that we're starting and then we'll get going. Come on.
All righty. <laughs> Jimbo, come here. Yeah, I almost ditched you down there, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's say hi to everybody. Ready? You're ready. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Jimbo, hello again. Jimbo is being very feisty today. Wants to hang out, wants to play. Uh, but we are not playing with Jimbo today. Sorry. Okay, after the live stream we'll play. Okay. Hi everybody. Today we are going to be crocheting a sea turtle. Look at this cute dude. Isn't that adorable? This is the newest pattern in our Earth Day uh, collaboration that we've been doing for, I think this is like the third or fourth year now, where we're trying to raise money for the World Wildlife Fund uh, by creating crochet patterns. And if you purchase any of the crochet patterns, uh, you get uh, the pattern, but all the proceeds go to the World Wildlife Fund. But we'll talk about all that in a second. Hi everybody, hello to the chat. I know new chat, um, I did add a new chat box and it works a lot better. Um, it's a little bit slower, but it does work a lot better. So yeah, thank you for noticing that Cooper. Um, yes, hello, hello, hello. All right, all right, let's switch to the to the cam and get rocking and rolling. We got a crazy long pattern today. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh, that's right, I put Jimbo's toy in. All right, hopefully Jimbo will be in his cat cam soon. Um, <laughs> all right, let's get through all the intro stuff and then we'll get hooking. Like I said, we got quite a big pattern today. Um, it is Sir Pearl Grey's newest pattern as part of our uh, Earth Day collaboration. Uh, we, I try to do a new uh, collaboration every year where we're trying to raise money for the World Wildlife Fund. And uh, every year I collaborate with as many amigurumi artists as I can. Uh, this year, it's just me and Philip because we had a, quite a busy year. I hear Jimbo acting a fool over there, but I can't see what he's doing. Um, <laughs> it's fun uh, babysitting while you try to live stream. Um, okay. <laughs> well, this is the newest pattern. It's just got up onto the website last night, so it's brand spanking new. If you want to get the pattern today, you can find it right here at clubcrochet.com slash turtle. It's right there. Uh, and it is donate to download. You can also get it by donating on this live stream. So if you hit the little in the chat, there's going to be a little like hands that are holding each other like this. Uh, if you click that and support the World Wildlife Fund for any amount of money, you will get a link to download this PDF. So you get this PDF for uh, donating today. That's the whole point of this live stream. We're just trying to raise money for the World Wildlife Fund to protect uh, uh, our natural world. So yeah, it'd be great if you could support it. Um, I know me and my other Amigurumi artist friends are all supporting it, not only with our crochet, but also with donations and stuff. So yeah, it's a great way to support and also just get some really cool patterns out of it. Okay, well let's talk about all the things that you're gonna need today to crochet this pattern. Um, a few little housekeeping things and then we'll get hooking. Sound good? Good, because there's a lot of crocheting to do today. Okay, so if you wanna crochet this pattern along with me, here's what you're gonna need. We're gonna be using all worsted weight yarn, 100% cotton, as I kind of normally do. Uh, the colors today that we'll be using are going to be green for our main body. This is gonna be our little sage green here. We'll need some forest green. That's just gonna be for some accent color to add spots uh, and eyelids. You do not need to use this. This is all optional. In fact, Philip doesn't use the forest green uh, option in his pattern um, because it looks really cute without it as well. Uh, but I think, you know, I just wanted to add a little bit extra detail to my sea turtle, so I added some forest green to it. So that's, I think, what we'll be doing today as well. You'll need a little bit of white. That's gonna be for the eyes. And then you'll need some beige and some brown for the shells, for the bottom and the top of the shell. Uh, that's all the colors that you're gonna need. For our crochet hook today, 
we're going to be using a size G four millimeter crochet hook. Uh, it's my favorite size hook to use for the yarn at hand. Uh, and we'll be needing a darning needle. I'm going to be using a crimped end darning needle like this. This is our green darning needle. I thought, you know, let's use a green darning needle for a green piece. Uh, I have these darning needles that I've been trying to add to the shop for a long time, but I just been lazy and haven't added it to the shop. Uh, but they should be in the shop pretty soon. Um, just like this, they come in like four different colors, but anyhow, I'll talk about that when I add them and then you'll need some scissors. And then finally a, uh, safety eye. We're going to be using eight millimeter safety eyes in this video. Uh, we got bottle eyes like this in the shop as well. Now it, you might notice that all these colors are also the colors that are included. I don't think you can see it. Well, here, let's grab it real quick in our brand spanking new da, 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 seasonal crochet kits ah, yeah that's because this is actually an alternative pattern for our new seasonal crochet kits as well um it's just kind of like a happy accident uh philip was like i want to do a sea turtle and i was like oh my gosh i want to do a tortoise that's perfect those colors work with our new kits so it was just happened to work out absolutely perfectly um, so Jim, Jimbo, stop acting on the phone. That's funny. Uh, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, if you want to get a new, our new seasonal crochet kits, I added all the links in the description there for what that's all about. There are these new giant crochet kits that are themed and make a bunch of different patterns. Uh, and one of the things about them is that you can make alternative patterns with them like our sea turtle here. So if you don't like the patterns that are designed for the kit, you can also make additional patterns with it. Um, okay. I think that's all the little things about all the materials that you're going to need today. Now today, like I said, we're do we're trying to donate. Um, oh, I'm sorry, sunshine. Thank you for joining and saying hi. I hope you have a less stressful uh, day. I hope it hope you chill out. Uh, I'm sorry that you're having a stressed day though. Uh, yeah, I feel better. Um, okay. So let's get this guy out of the way. The other thing that I want to talk about today is we are doing a giveaway uh, because last live stream got 150 likes. So I said, if this video gets 150 likes, we'll do a giveaway. Now this video, we're going to do the same thing. If this one gets 200 likes, so I'm up in the ante a little bit, we're going to do another giveaway next live stream. But to say thank you for the likes for last live stream, let's go ahead and do a giveaway today. And to give away today, we're going to be giving away the brand spanking new Jimbo enamel pins. Look at how cute these guys are. Brand new. I just added them to the shop literally like 15 minutes ago. So if you want to get a little pin like this, they are available in the shop, but also uh, you can enter the giveaway to, to win a Jimbo pin. Um, all the information is in the description or the pinned comment in the chat. Uh, and all you need to do is enter a little form. It's really simple. I'm basically just say, asking what your name is. Uh, and uh, what kind of endangered pattern you'd like to see in the future, uh, in future collaborations. So that's it. Uh, if you want to enter that form, uh, again, links are in the description and these pins are now available on the website and look at how shiny the little cards that I got for them are. They're so shiny. I also was really, I, I thought ahead and I put a little star right here so that I could punch a hole out and put them on um, like, a, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I just feel clever. <laughs> um, okay, so enter to win the Jimbo pin. We'll do be doing that giveaway at the end of this live stream. So uh, regardless if you're here or not, I'll still let you know if you won. Uh, you don't have to be here for to enter that giveaway. Um, you can enter it really quick, leave the live stream. It's all good. I'll email you to let you know if you win. Um, but we'll be doing the announcement at the end of this live stream too. Okay, I think that's just about it. Let me pull up the crochet pattern today. Now, like I said, there is quite a lot of different parts in this pattern. So I'm hoping we can finish the entire thing today. We're gonna to be going till 6 p.m. my time. So that's gonna be about three hours of a live stream. Uh, it's already 3.15, so we only got like two and a half hours. To mitigate the amount of stuff that I have to make, because there's a lot of different parts for this pattern, I went ahead and started the just a few pieces. So I made one of the arms, one of the legs, and one of the eye spots ahead of time because I was like, dang, this is a big pattern. I need to get prepared. So I went ahead and made these already, but we're going to be making another one in the live stream. I just was kind of worried about timing. So 
that's my little little heads up there let's go ahead and put these to the side um the other thing i wanted to say is if you do donate today i will be putting something out on the live stream to say thank you for your donation uh and it looks like i think we already got a donation yes i i could have sworn i saw one on here ah yes julie thank you for donating not only are you getting uh a the crochet pattern but also, we're going to be adding something on screen for you. So let's go ahead and grab that. And oh my god, Cooper. Cooper. You crazy, dude. Cooper donated an additional $50. So that is incredible. Thank you so much for your support, uh, Cooper. That is really, really cool. So let's go ahead. I'm going to add some stuff on screen. Um, I can't remember what we added last live stream. But I think I can remember what we didn't add. Let me go ahead and go. So, um, let's start with, oh, uh, you know what? Let's do this one as, as our first one. Uh, this is going to be one of e Sir Pearl Grey's other crochet patterns for this collaboration. Uh, for last year's collaboration, he made a pangolin. So we're gonna add this to the background for Cooper because this is one of the most detailed patterns ever and it's so cool and fun to make. Uh, I've made like four of these and I've enjoyed every single one of them. They are like, there's just nothing like the scales. Also, this is another alternative pattern for the seasonal kit, just letting you know. Um, but, <laughs> but yeah, this is for Cooper. Thank you for your $50 donation to the World Wildlife Fund. Uh, that is amazing legendary we're gonna go ahead and put that right here it'll be on screen for us and then let's add another pattern really quick i mean not another pattern another thing on screen for julie who also donated julie i'm gonna add my pattern from last year uh for a little uh snowy plover these are an endangered bird that actually live up in san francisco where i was living for a long time until august uh, and they were one of my favorite things to see in the wild. I absolutely loved them. So I crocheted a little snowy plover for last year's uh, crochet pattern and I made it so that the head can be removed because I'm obsessed with burbs. So this is also a secret burb in disguise. Let's go ahead and add that head back on and we're gonna put this in the background for you, Julie. Um, this, by the way, this pattern is just really cool. I highly suggest you check it out. All of these patterns, by the way, that I'm going to put in the background are also donate to download. So all the proceeds from all any pattern that you see me put on screen today, um, any proceeds, any purchases all go to the World Wildlife Fund. So it's a really, really good way to not only get some cool crochet patterns, but also support a good cause. I'm also going to turn on the cool air because these lights are getting toasty. All right. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Let's go ahead and start crocheting. What are you guys up to today, by the way? Anybody else crocheting something fun? Um, anybody else making a turtle? I'm going to start with the eyes. Now, like I said, I already had one eye made, so we're just going to make a second eye real quick. So let's go ahead and get that started. The eyes are really, really simple though. This pattern's very interesting because all the different sections of the pattern are relatively simple. Um, the arms are a little complicated because there's like weird decreasing and increasing involved, but uh, they're all just made with really single crochets. So it's not too complicated. The complicated part comes for with the sewing together. So crocheting everything, we should be done crocheting everything relatively quickly but the sewing together might take a second, um, which is kind of a uh, part of, <laughs> it's kind of one of Sir Pro Gray's styles. Uh, he makes really intricate patterns, but not with the crochet as much as it is with the sewing together part, uh, which is really fun. It, he's a very different Amigurumi artist than I am. Uh, we're good friends, and uh, I love talking about crochet with him because we always like, we kind of like always push each other to make to innovate and try something new. And I really like that. It's really fun having a little, like like a designer crochet buddy that, I don't know. I just, I love you, Philip. I hope you're out there and watching and having a great day. Uh, I really enjoyed this pattern. 
it's just very unique. And what's really interesting about it, so there we go, I just slip stitched and finished one of our eyes. Um, like I said, I already had one of these finished. So we'll go ahead and put this off to the side. And now we got our eyes. Uh, next, we wanna do our eyelids, and we're gonna need two eyelids here. And I'm gonna make our eyelids dark green um, because basically I wanna make a copy of my of this sea turtle. I basically wanna make the exact same thing because I absolutely love this and I never wanna give it away. But also, I know I have a lot of nephews and nieces that would be obsessed with this pattern. So I've gotta make an, a duplicate so I can keep one and they can have one. <laughs> uh, it's kind of fun because we're making like our Christmas gifts early right now. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, what was what was really fun about this collaboration, uh, this year's collaboration, is that the patterns are um, both, so I will be showing off my pattern uh, next week, we'll be crocheting my pattern. My pattern is also turtle related because both of us were like, let's do something turtle related. But I actually made a giant tortoise as my pattern and he did a sea turtle. And what's really interesting is our approach to each of these patterns was very different, but trying to make the same kind of thing. Uh, not only like the turtle aspect, but also he does, so Philip did some like really interesting increasing and decreasing in this fin to make it so that it's shaped in a specific way. And what's interesting is I had to do something very similar for my pattern, but I used a completely different approach for using my, for making shaping. Um, I used something that I've actually never done before in an Ami Groovy pattern. I'll show you about that next week. Uh, but I just thought it was so interesting that both of us kind of approached the same problem in different ways and I just think it's very interesting so if you're a fan of amigurumi and like pushing the limits of what you have made and ways to make amigurumi I really think you're gonna like these two patterns uh, to just see some different ways to do a very similar kind of thing and what you would use each of these different um, techniques for so I just think it's a I just think it's an interesting thing Aaliyah how are you Ali is making a cardigan and a cow. Two at the same time? Are you making a cardigan for a cow? Are you making a cardigan that looks like a cow? Are you just making a cardigan and also a cow? Interesting. Very interesting. I want to I want to know more. All right, so I'm making the eyelids here. By the way, I'm not going through the tutorial in this video because the tutorial is available right here at clubcrochet.com/turtle. Um, I don't really need to do the tutorial in this video itself. Let's turn that brightness down. And uh, and there is like a full length video tutorial that Philip did. So I'm not going to go through all the different techniques and stitches and stuff in this video. Um, I actually realized something after I made my turtle that I totally forgot to stuff the um, the arms and the legs on my first one. So we're going to do that in this video for sure. Finish. All right. And there's our... There's our eyelid. Like that and pull it through. Um, I actually do need to make two eyelids. I did not. I wanted to make another eyelid before this video, but I didn't do it. So we're gonna make another eyelid real quick. They're pretty quick to make though, so I figured, eh, it's not a big deal. Oh, Hannah's making pride flag frogs. That's cute. I like that. Getting ready. I love it. You're going to start throwing them at a pride parade? That'll be fun. Dash Chuba is making a banana dog. What is a banana dog? I've heard of a wiener dog, but what's a banana dog? Is it like a wiener dog but yellow? <laughs> Sounds very appealing. <laughs> God, I'm so funny. If that didn't deserve a donation to the World Wildlife Fund, then uh, I don't know what does. Actually, I do. There, there's a lot of other things, like protecting our planet. <laughs> I know, right, Jimbo? Jimbo's getting talkative again. Is he going in a spot? No, he's not. Not yet. Not yet. He'll get there eventually. Oh, he's meowing in the other room now. He's on a, he's on a tirade. Yeah, you try to coax him over. Jules is trying to coax him into a spot. It doesn't work though. 
I've tried a million bazillion times. Do you want to say hi on the chat? You can look in the camera there. We can see you, kinda. Yeah, well, I can see your arm, but yeah. It's on that tripod that's right in front of it. No. There you are. We see you now. That is a very fluffy boy. <laughs> you should just you should just chill there the entire live stream. That's what I think. Work is for dorks though. You don't need to do that. I mean barely. I don't know if this really counts as work. I guess it kind of does. Good boy. Jimbo's attacking Jules. Isn't that good? Oh, they're saying hi to you in the chat, by the way. <laughs> Alright, this is now the Jules cam. No, no, stay there. It's the Jules cam! <laughs> How bizarre. Uh, I needed a break from work. You needed a break from work? Yeah. yeah. What are you making? We're making a sea turtle right now. Yeah, did you see the finished sea turtle? No. Come here. I'll show you it. It's very, very cute. It's a little... Okay, now I'm big, it's a big pattern, but it's really Hi. cute. Look at how cute this is. <gasps> so cute. He really does look like that turtle from... Uh, yeah, uh, from Finding Nemo mm -hmm. and Dory. Mm -hmm. If I have enough time today, I might try to add more spots on like the, yeah. the fins and stuff. But I don't know. We'll find out. It's a big pattern. You so. just started. Yeah, we just started. Oh gosh, I've, I've been so distracting. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but we finished. Um, we've got our eyes done, our eyelids done. We've got one of the fins and one of the back fins done because I prepped a little bit. Nice. But gosh. we do have quite a lot to make. He's so much better at crocheting than I am. <laughs> Every time I try to do something like that, it's not nearly as fun. Well, you're much better at knitting than I am. I know, because so he's never tried to fair... knit. Can you believe it? A... I've actually tried. I've actually watched one of your videos to, to learn. And you know what? I have a beginning knitting 101 video that Louie could watch. I feel like I'm getting or, deja vu right now. Or let now. me teach him. No, never. He'll never. I really do. I feel like deja vu big time. Oh, really? Uh-huh. It's like we've talked about this before, or maybe, maybe. I've experienced this in another universe Maybe. Something. I think that's how deja vu works, right? Sure. I actually, whenever I get deja vu, uh, it used to scare me, but now I think of it as the, the universe uh, telling me that I'm in the right place. Oh, that's nice. Or that I'm doing the, what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, also, when I run into people in places that I didn't expect to run into them, then I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm in the right place. I've ran into my friend, so I must be. You must going be where you're way. supposed to be, like yeah, you, like it was serendipitous for a reason. I like to think sometimes. Serendipitous. Knitting is so easy, Louie. So easy. Exactly. Why would I want to learn how to do that? I like a challenge. <laughs> it's not easy. Um, do you see how my yarn is getting pulled away from me? That's because that's because I have a weasel oh, at he, my feet. He wants to play. Yes, he very much wants to play. I'll go play with Jimbo. Yeah, tire him out. I'll try. Ooh, you should use the little thing and try to, and get him to jump in the. So they can see they can see Jimbo playing in his natural environment. Jimbo's favorite way to play is with this, uh, like kind of like a fake bird mm -hmm. just a bunch of feathers yeah and here i'll switch cams real quick so they can watch jimbo chasing this oh my gosh it's so cute i know he's so cute <laughs> it's so little killer oh phoebe's on coming out too <laughs> <laughs> that's really cute Lene thinks that knitting is hard. Yeah, it's not super easy. Yeah. But it's also not uh, impossible. And once you get in a flow, it's very relaxing. Yeah, I imagine. I can imagine. But I like to crochet. You can do both. At the same time? Yeah. 
crazy. You know, have you ever heard of nooking? No. It's uh this new, well I don't know if it's new, but it's it's crochet, it's knitting with a crochet hook. It's like a technique where you basically knit with a crochet hook. It's like it's right in between crocheting and knitting. What about um, Tunisian crochet? Is it like that? Kind yeah, it's kind of like that. I think you use a Tunisian crochet hook actually for it. But I saw it on uh, there's a subreddit that is all about nooking. Sounds sounds a little dirty. It does. It sounds, like it sounds like necking, yeah. I hope they I hope you guys don't mind me keeping on the Jimbo cam for a second because this is just too cute to to not watch. He's a little devil. He is a little devil. A little demon. Julie says you should try Tunisian crochet, Jules. Have you ever tried Tunisian crochet before? Um, when I first learned how to crochet, I was Tunisian crocheting without realizing it because I was so used to knitting. Yeah. So yes, but it wasn't on purpose. Okay, so yes, but it wasn't on purpose. Gotcha. <laughs> I um I used to do Tunisian crochet a lot in high school because I was making um I was making iPhone cases and I would use Tunisian crochet for the back of the iPhone case. And then I'd use regular crochet to work around the Tunisian crochet. It was a lot of fun. I really liked I really liked that pattern. But once they changed iPhones so that they were they had like they used to have like you know flat fronts and backs, and then they changed it so that it was rounded. Once they changed it so it was rounded, I couldn't keep the the phone case on it, so I had to stop making the phone cases, and I never went back and figured it out. So maybe one day I'll figure it back out. It's just they change phones so often. Yeah, it's not uh, easy to well, Yeah. Maybe maybe you could just alter your old pattern a little bit. Maybe. Yeah, I could try doing that. I could try doing that. Have I made a cat pattern yet? I have made a simple cat pattern using the um the bonimal pattern. But I haven't made like an official Jimbo pattern yet. I'd like to though. I'd like to. Oh wow. Bolt. Wow. He's going crazy. I was just trying to play with the other cat for a second. Yeah. You can only play with one at a time. Alright. Let's get back to the to the crochet now that Jimbo has fled his spot. Birds are not real, dude. Aaliyah, I 100% agree with you. Birds are 100% not real. Government drones. Have you ever seen a baby pigeon? No. The answer's, the answer's undoubtedly no, because there's no such thing as a baby pigeon. Because pigeons are just made to be government drones. Right, Jules? No. She doesn't, she just doesn't see it the way I do. She just doesn't understand. I just don't, I don't get reality. She just doesn't get it. Or maybe she's in on it. Who knows? Maybe I've been a burb the whole time. Oh my god, have you been a burb this entire time? Come here, let me try to rip your head off. No! <laughs> oh, there is a cat in a pumpkin pattern. Good, good uh, point, Cooper. <laughs> Am I talking to you? There's two Aaliyahs in the chat, actually. Who it is. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, think about it. You've never seen a baby pigeon before. How is that possible? They're everywhere. I've never seen a baby pigeon. But I've seen a lot of pigeons. A lot of pigeons with no feet. What does that mean? It means you need to treat pigeons better. No, it means that they're made out of faulty parts. That's got to be what it means. <laughs> <laughs> it's genius it's genius hey by the way like this video if you haven't yet oh we got jimbo back in the cam like this video if you haven't yet if this video gets 200 likes we're going to do another giveaway next live stream and if you want to enter the current giveaway that's going on right now because of last live streams likes for a little jimbo pin go ahead and check out the uh description uh we're giving away one of these at the end of the live stream i love that pin i know i love it too 
I'm obsessed. I bought like way, way too many. Like way more than I <laughs> than I thought I think we can sell. Uh, simply because I wanted I knew I was gonna want like a hundred at least for myself and all my friends. So I bought like way too many. <laughs> but they're so cute. They're so cute. Thank you, Cooper. Cooper just posted it in the chat for the giveaway. Super Koopa. Uh oh, Hannah's seen a baby pigeon. And she said that it's something that they can't unsee. That's because you saw all the wires and and circuit boards and stuff, probably. And and the government probably made you sign like a an NDA or something. <laughs> Maybe, maybe a lot of us have actually seen uh, baby pigeons, but the government has wiped our, our memory. That's what, that, now there is a realistic theory, right, Jules? No. <laughs> Seems like a realistic theory to me. Yeah, yeah, that's his, that's his plesiosaur. I know, he's so cute with that one. Let's just, oh, he's gonna bolt. Is he? Oh, but he loves it. I know, he's so cute. Oh, look, he's looking right at the camera. He is such a baby. Oh, thank you, LaCole. That's really nice of you. I appreciate that. Don't you Google baby pigeons. That's what the government wants you to do. Hello, Samantha. How are you? Oh, thank you for the little like. Someone is, is hitting that little heart thing. That's cool. I don't really understand how that works, but it's cool. And I appreciate the little likes. Oh, I missed it. The, ca the, the camera's on, so the chat saw that, but I totally missed it. Okay. Well, he'll be back. <laughs> Thanks, Jules. Bye. Thank you for saying hi. Have a good day of work. Uh, open's fine. Jimbo will be annoying if I keep it closed. Oh, they love your dress. <laughs> Jules works for Big Pigeon. Yeah, I agree. I think she does work for Big Pigeon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I had to count in this round. Eight, nine, and ten. And then I do three. Two. Three, like that, and then it's increase one. He, I gotta say, Philip made some really crazy, like he really used increasing and decreasing this pattern to shape his pattern really, really well. It's kind of like it feel, it feels really like three D printy ish, and I, I like that a lot. It's it's fun. It's fun when people like experiment with increasing and decreasing to make their stitches, like their piece, like work the way they want it to work. Just interesting. Uh, AJ, what round am I on? I am currently on the head in round, uh, I'm just finishing up round eight right now of the head. We've made two eyes, two eyelids. Um, I pre-made an arm and a leg also. So we still have a quite a while to go though. Um, the head alone is going to take a sec. But as long as we keep on keeping on, I think we'll be all right. Twiz. Twiz is is pretty... Oh, you're almost tied with us. Twiz has got... Well, I guess it's not very fair since I made the arm and the leg ahead of time. But Twiz has already made two eyes and eyelids. Congratulations. Keep on keeping on. 
Thank you for crocheting it with me, by the way, Twiz. It's always fun to know that someone else is making the same pattern as me at the same time. I just think that's really cool. Um, okay, so we're doing 15 stitches now. It's like, it's like we're kindred spirits right now. I can feel you, Twiz. Crocheting! Ah! <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me, guys. I don't know. We are, yes, we're in unison. Let it be known, Twiz and Louie are in unison. That's probably what Big Pigeon would say right now. Um, okay, we're doing two increases now. One, two, good. And then we'll just finish up this round of single crochets. Nice and easy, easy squeezy, lemon peasy. Oh, Lucky Ducky, hello. Thank you for joining, Lucky Ducky. First time catching a live stream. What am I doing with that pink strand? The pink strand is helping me keep track of the end of the rounds. So, so this is how I mark the ends of my rounds so that I don't have to use a stitch marker that I have to continuously like remove and add. Uh, instead, I just crochet around a piece of yarn at the end of each round, and then I can just pull this all out when I'm done. So not only does it help you keep track of the rounds that you're currently on, but it also lets you see where the ends of the rounds are when you look down. I think this is a much better and easier way to uh, have a stitch marker, and you don't have to use it like a plastic stitch marker, which is kind of nice too. AJ just finished up round nine. Oh, jeez, you're ahead of me. You're ahead of me. AJ's a fast crocheter. We got a speed crocheter here. I wonder. I wonder who's gonna who's gonna make it first, AJ. As I say, as I put my crochet down and crack my knuckles, get prepped. Where's Jimbo? Oh, he's just laying next to the cat cam like a doofus. Ooh. Nice, nice, nice neck cracks. All right. Next we're doing, I should probably mark this off so I don't lose my track of my stitches. What is the fastest project I've ever made? Probably, uh-oh, I found a knot in my yarn because this isn't club crochet yarn. So something I'm, uh, I'm doing today is I wanted to use my new club crochet yarn that's in my new seasonal kits for this pattern, but I'm almost out. I have to get, I'm waiting for all the yarn to get sent over so that I can, uh, like, so we can ship all the kits out right now. And because of that, I only have like, like so many balls of this yarn. So I wanted to save the rest of the yarn that I have for our seasonal kits that we'll be making uh, in, uh, a few weeks. So instead I'm using my other cotton yarn because it's my other cotton yarn. It's got little knots. It had a knot in it. So we are avoiding a knot right now. We are not Jimbo. Don't No. He's at my feet biting the yarn. Classic, classic Jimbo move. Get out of town, bub. Get out of town. Go lay down. Hey, 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 don't eat that. Don't eat that. He's eating the sound cord. Because he doesn't he doesn't want me to stream. He wants to hang out. Isn't that true, bud? Stop. Dude, dude, you need to relax. Relaxation would be nice. Yes, go lay down. Okay. You're gonna make me lose to AJ. AJ, if you win, it's all Jimbo's fault. All Jimbo's fault. All right, we got a stitch marker that we need to add here. Um, this is the first time in a pattern, by the way, uh, Cooper did this thing where he added, um, I was going and crocheting it, and then I saw in round uh, 10, which I'm on right now, he, there's a little marker for, or it says PM, 
single, single crochet 17 p.m single crochet 17 and i was like p.m what the heck is that and it stands for place marker and so you put a little crochet you sh you crochet around a little piece of yarn so that you can mark just where this stitch is so that when you add the eyes it's easier to add the eyes with and i was like oh my god philip you're a genius that's such a good idea i can't believe i've never used that before can't believe it Ooh, Aaliyah says instead of using the dark green for the additions to their sea turtle, should you do a different color? Oh, that's a great idea. Making like a pink turtle or making like a, I love that idea. That's, that's a very cute idea. Even just making the spots a different color, like making them purple or blue. Um, I really like purple and greens together. So you're going to, if you're going to make the body green, uh, you definitely want to make it a nice contrasting color. Uh, for the the accent color and so yeah I would say probably a purple is pretty would be pretty nice a blue would be pretty nice um, a yellow might be a little harsh I don't know I love that idea though very good idea um, okay now I'm on round 13 no I mean 11 I scared you didn't I AJ he, he, AJ was like the heck how's you on round 13 already no i'm not i'm not don't worry you're still beating me oh he's really he's way ahead of me it's okay i'm gonna catch up when you have to make an extra arm because i already got made that before you ha <laughs> ha all right did i do 13 1 2 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 oops Three and four. Ta ta. <laughs> it's fun. I've got a. I've got a challenger. AJ's. AJ's a real challenger. I feel like I'm fighting Sub Zero right now. I never won against Sub Zero. Sub Zero was the hardest character for me to fight. Kept freezing me. What are we doing for next week? Great question, Alia. Alia, sorry. Um, we are making my crochet pattern for this year's collaboration next week, uh, which is gonna be a tortoise. Um, so we're making a turtle this week and then a tortoise next week. By the way, I was talking to someone and they were like, what's the difference between a turtle and a tortoise? And I was like, you don't know what the difference between a tortoise is? Uh, and then I realized, yeah, probably a lot of people don't. The difference between a turtle and a tortoise is that turtles are land creatures. I mean, sorry, turtles are, are, are reptiles that live in the water. Tortoises live on the land. So that's the big difference of them. If you see some, like a giant tortoise is purely a land animal, whereas a turtle is gonna be living in the water most, most of the time. Um, maybe like sitting out on a rock or, or going up onto a beach to lay their eggs, but most of their life is gonna be spent in the water. So that's gonna be the big difference between turtles and tortoises. Um, uh, another big difference, at least with sea turtles, is that sea turtles can't go into their shell. Um, they use their shell as protection, obviously, but they don't tuck themselves back into the shell. So that is also a big difference between sea turtles and tortoises. Tortoises are more used to going into their shell as protection. I used to actually have a tortoise. Uh, his name was Speedy. I thought Speedy was a girl for a really, really long time. Uh, I had them pretty much all of elementary school and middle school. I had my tortoise. Uh, and then we gave it to a friend who really wanted to take care of it. Uh, and yeah, but Speedy, I thought for the longest time was a girl until I woke up in the middle of the night to it having relations with a rock in the room. And I was like, oh, Speedy, you're a boy. <laughs> this whole time, you're a boy. Which I thought was funny. You really want to see the tortoise 
I'll be honest, the pro, not even, like, there's a rough, rough prototype that I finished, but the pattern itself for the tortoise is not done. I'm finishing up this week. Um, so, I'll give you a hint on what it looks like, though. It's, I, I really like it. I, it is going to be much more of, like, a toy. Um, its name is Tuck, the tortoise, for a reason. It gives you an idea of what it'll kind of look like. Uh, it definitely looks different from this one. It is not as big. Um, it's actually, its name is going to be Tuck the Tiny Giant Tortoise because it's a, supposed to be a giant tortoise, but obviously I'm not going to make a giant tortoise. So I just made it relatively small, a tiny giant tortoise. It's like a baby giant tortoise. All right. Oh my gosh, you're already placing the eyes. Slow your roll, AJ. Jeez Louise. Hello, Akari. What are we working on? We are currently working on a sea turtle as one of our Earth Day collaborations. This is a brand new pattern from uh, Philip from Sir Pearl Gray. Uh, by the way, if you haven't heard of Sir Pearl Gray yet, you never made a Sir Pearl Gray pattern, check out the links in the description for more of Sir Pearl Gray stuff. Uh, you can see actually one of his patterns right here. This is his pangolin pattern uh, from one of our other Earth Day collaborations. Uh, and he has a bunch of them like that. Hot Jimbo, no! Jimbo has the green yarn that we're currently using in his hands like this. It's really cute. But I need to use it. No, I'm sorry, buddy. You're, you're sound sleepy. Why don't you lay down in your bed? Yeah, huh? Go lay down. Go lay down. Jules already played with you a little bit. Philip is actually going to be doing, uh, we're going to be doing a lot more collaborations together uh, pretty soon. So if you like Philip's patterns, um, yeah, good, because you're going to see more of them. A toil. We are making. That's right. That's right, Bubby Crafts. We are making a toidle. I like toidles. Hey, Jimbo. Stop. Stop. You can't play with that. I'm sorry. I know. I know. It looks like a toy. It basically is a toy, but it's not a toy. Ugh. We're going to take you to your bed. You got it. You got it. Killer. Get it. You're doing great, buddy. Oh, I got to answer the eyes now. He's so cute. So I love the new fix with the chat because now I can change camera. And I don't have to worry about the chat going away like it was before. It was really annoying. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add our eyes in right now. Try to catch up to AJ, who's flying. Jimbo's going wild right now. Hey, River, how you doing? Hope you're having a great day, River. What? Oh, ooh, good question. Uh, Aaliyah asks, what is my opinion on selling crocheted items at your local market? I've been thinking about doing it for a little while now. I think that's a really good idea. Actually, that's how I got started was selling my crocheted stuff at a market. Um, I sold beanies and stuff in a market. If you, um, if you want to, by the way, our, all the club crochet patterns, you're welcome to sell at markets. Um, the only uh, request I have is if anybody asks where you got the pattern from, just let them know. It's a club crochet pattern. Go to clubcrochet.com. That's all I ask. Uh, if you're selling them on online, like on Etsy, uh, same thing. Just put it in the description. Pattern by clubcrochet.com. Uh, I think that's a really good idea, though. You definitely should. Not only is it a great way to make money, but it's also a great way to like learn about how businesses work and get your own business started. It's a great way to get... Um, some you know side money too 
uh, I know when I was in um, when I was in high school, I started selling my crochet projects, and then when I got to college, um, me selling my crochet like paid for my college. So very very useful. Uh, the Twiz says this is their first crochet along. Do I have a place to post creations on the stream? You know what? I don't, but that would be really, really cool. I think I'd like to do that very soon. So um, thank you for letting me know that, Twiz. I will, oh my gosh, AJ, slow down. I will try to get that worked on uh, next week, Twiz, so that you can share your projects and we can post uh, pictures on the screen because I think that would be really, really cool. Okay, gosh, we need to catch up to AJ. He's going fast. All right, we gotta do, we've got, gosh, it's almost already four. All right, so we've gotta move six stitches away. So it's three, four, five, six. I think we go right here. I think one eye is going right here. That, I think. So. Oh, that's pretty cute. That's pretty cute. Originally, Sir Pro Gray wanted to make the eyes black um, because that's kind of like the way sea turtles' eyes are. They're like very dark. So, he, so he made the original eyes black, and I was like, maybe we make it white instead, so that they're a little bit easier to see because they were kind of hard to see when they were all black. Um, that's kind of how our collaborations work. Also, is we give each other feedback on our patterns and. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. It's a fun time. All right. I think right here is where the second eye goes, but I'm not positive. Let's find out. Does that look like they're far enough away from that center? Equally distanced? No, it looks like this one on the right is a little bit further than the one on the left. I think that's supposed to be. I think I counted wrong. Oh my gosh. Ivy, stop. Ivy's here for the competition between me and AJ. AJ's gonna win though. <laughs> Not fair. All right, I gotta speed this. I gotta speed speed up. Now it's getting real. Okay, let's clip that in. I will clip this one in. And we're gonna hope and pray that everything looks great. Let's see. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. They're a little far away, but. Yeah, no, that looks, that looks great. Okay, I can pull this out now. All right, let's keep on crocheting on. Yes, please do, Aaliyah, keep us updated. I'm very curious to see how that, um, how your market goes. All right, oh, I'm supposed to stuff slightly also. One sec, we'll stuff slightly after this round instead. Okay, fine, AJ, fine. If you beat me, I'll tell you what, AJ. If you truly beat me, truly beat me, uh, I'll give you, I'll give you a prize. If you, but you can't lie. I don't want, I don't want any BS about it. Okay, you're gonna have to email me a picture of your finished turtle when you're done with it. That's the deal. Email it to Louie at clubcrochet.com, and if you beat me in this, if you send me an email of your finished turtle in this live stream before I finish my turtle, I'll send you a prize. I'll reward you for beating me. I think that's a fair, that's fair, especially with the fact that I made my arms earlier. Am I planning on making more burbs or bonimals? Those are your favorite patterns. Oh, Bubby Crafts, thank you for letting me know that. I am absolutely uh, trying to make those. Uh, I, I deserve to be humbled. <laughs> yeah, that, that's fair. That's fair, Ivy. No, I'm not telling you the mystery pattern. That's not like coming out for like a whole month, dude. I'm not even, I'm not even sure. No, no, mm -mm. Mm -mm. absolutely not. That is a super, that's a super secret. Hey Jimbo, what are you doing over here? Okay, I'll show you, I'll, I'll tell you what, that seems like a fair thing. AJ, if you win, I'll show you my prototype of my tortoise uh, that is a very early prototype. 
by the end of the stream. I'll probably show you that anyhow. Don't doubt yourself, AJ. Do it for the chat. Oh my gosh, Alonya! Thank you so much. Alonya said that they signed up for the annual pass a couple of days ago. First off, super duper duper appreciate that. Um, like, that is really, really cool. I, I very much was like, I don't know how many people are going to sign up for this annual pass. And I, I just, I really appreciate that, Alonia. That That is extremely supportive, but also really cool. And I, you're saying, you're saying you're looking forward to it. And I, I guarantee, I think you're really going to like it a lot. I really, really do. I've, I've never put so much thought and effort into something, uh, into like a pr product. I've never really like looked at my things as like products before so this is my first time i was like okay we're making this a product we're going to like i want to make this really good and so i put a lot of extra effort into it um into the design of like the box and all the patterns and, and getting special yarn so i i don't think you're going to be disappointed i really really hope you're not disappointed <laughs> But I'll be shocked if you are. I think it's one of the best uh, put together products that I've, I've ever come out with. So I think you're gonna really like it. Uh, Susan Chang asked, do we have any new Bonneville patterns? We do have one that we made last week um, that is that I haven't put on the website yet because I'm a lazy bum, but I need to. Uh, and hopefully I can get it onto the website after this stream. Um, but for a chameleon that we made as a surprise like mystery pattern last live stream so that is a brand new bonhamel pattern that is not technically out but if you go on the last live stream cooper actually did add it to the comments of that um that live stream so you can get the pattern there uh and i'll add it on the website uh later christine what breed of cat is jimbo jimbo what breed of cat are you he's right behind me right now what breed of cat are you what are you say that again hey hey say it for the chat i don't think they heard you Say it out loud. Okay. Jimbo says he doesn't know. He's a mutt. Uh, we think that he is part Mancoon, but not all Mancoon. Mancoons are really furry and really big. Um, we also think he might be a um, part... Uh, there's like a... There's like a, like a Turkish or something cat. I can't remember what it's called. But they're known for being really furry and really playful, which... That's Jimbo. Right, bud? But I also think he's got part, like, of some other kind of cat in him. I think he's just a mutt. I think he's just a mutt. All right, bye, Bubby Crafts. Thanks so much for joining. He's the meow kind. That's right. He's the loud meow -y kind, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Say yeah. Hey. Hey. Okay, now you want to be quiet. Once I request a meow, he says no. I don't do I I meow on my terms. A chaos gremlin, that's absolutely his. Hey, stop biting that. That is not edible. He loves biting wires. He's never busted a wire yet, but he's getting pretty close. That's what Jules thinks actually, Ivy. Jules thinks that he might be part ragdoll also. But I don't know. I have no idea. Oh my gosh. Did you guys hear that? That was a Jimbo sneeze. One thing Jimbo is known for is his sneezes. He, um, so he has, he has cat herpes. Uh, a very light case of cat herpes. And every now and then he gets a flare up and it makes him sneeze a lot. Uh, we've taken to a bunch of doctors to try to get it fixed, but there's not really any fix. They're just like, you're just going to have to deal with the sneezy cat. So I'm always on alert to see if he sneezes and if he does sneeze, where the booger is. It's so gross, but it's also kind of cute. Um, <laughs> where would you suggest to purchase the worsted cotton yarn, Doris asks. Uh, from me. No, uh, I, I use a bunch of different kinds of worsted cotton yarns. Um, I just recently started getting a Club Crochet branded cotton yarn, which is different than any of the other cotton yarns I've used before because it uses a uh, multi-strand ply yarn um, which basically means that like this yarn here this will focus right 
Oh, I guess it's manual focus. This yarn here is one, like it's four ply yarn, but each of these plies are a single ply uh, strand. And I just got new yarn made for Club Crochet. This is some of it right here. And you can kind of see it's also four ply yarn. There's the four plies, but each of these individual plies are also made of like individual strands of yarn. Or so it's it's basically it's called multi ply yarn. Multi ply four ply yarn. So each one of these have multiple strands. Anyhow, it's really cool. I'm super proud of it. We're gonna be adding this to the shop soonish. Um, and it comes in our new crochet kits. Uh, but if you want other crochet cotton, like good cotton yarn to use for, for crocheting, um, my favorite brands that are like easily accessible on the market um, are uh, um, Lily Sugar and Cream is pretty good. Uh, I think that's what we're using right now, actually. Um, you can also find uh, some good cotton yarn from Bernat. It's not that bad. It's not the best, but it's not that bad. Uh, and uh, Lion Brand has some good 100% cotton yarn. Uh, and I think the uh, Philip uh, Sir Pro Gray uses, um, was using paint box uh, yarn for his um, sea turtle. So he really, he likes that yarn a lot too. Um, so that's also an option. There's a lot of cotton yarn uh, options out there, um, but our club crochet yarn's the best. <laughs> uh, I know, I know you do. I know, Zoe. I'm so sorry. Specifically for you, Zoe, I'm really sorry because I know you live in Canada, and Canada is, for some reason, the absolute most expensive place to ship to. What is that sound? Is that Jimbo? Oh no, that's Jules. Um, for some reason, Canada is like twice as expensive to ship to rather than everywhere else. It's so, so ridiculously expensive to ship to Canada. And it's like, why? Why? You guys are right next to us. Why would it be like $30 to ship a single package to Canada? It's crazy. Crazy. Ooh, emerald turtle is making an emerald turtle. I love that. Oh my God, this is the perfect pattern for you. Oh my gosh, no, no, no. AJ is gonna beat me, I'm so slow. Okay, okay, I gotta sew this ion. Ion. Like an ion. Okay, wait, okay, wait. I need to catch up. I need to catch up to AJ. We need to focus. Don't distract me. The chat's, the chat's working against me here. That's fair though, I get it, it's fair. It's fair, kinda, whatever. I don't wanna talk about it. <laughs> yeah, I know, right Zoe? It's like we're neighbors. Why would it cost like triple the amount to ship to you? Not even triple, it's way more than that actually. It's so, so much money to ship to Canada. It's crazy, crazy even. All right. So we're adding the eyes now. And I'm not gonna think too hard about this. I'm just gonna start sewing it together and find the stitches that work best for the placement of the eye. I know, Jimbo says, meow, meow, meow. Who would have thought? That's too far away. Meow, meow, meow. I know. Hi, bud. Ion is a fun word to say. Yeah. One problem about all this sewing together is I have a very difficult time reading the chat and sewing things together. So it takes, it just takes more like thought. 
in my opinion. Eek. Let me go with this one as our last one. Uh, I've done better. I've done a better sewing before, but whatever. We'll just stretch these edges out so that it rounds it out a little bit more because it kind of pulled in the eye a little bit more than I wanted it to, but it's all good. It's all good. All right, double knot these two ends and then continue on the next eye over here. It, the top of this is also gonna be covered by an eyelid, so I always have to keep that in mind. You wish there was a cat translator. You wanna know what goes on in Jimbo's brain. It's fluff and stuff, probably. Uh oh. <laughs> Sneezy McBreezy. Um, I think it's mostly like, you wanna play? You wanna play? And and uh pet me, love me, give me attention. I think that's what Jimbo's pretty much always saying. He just he is an attention hog. Sometimes we call him um Jimbo the Bimbo because he just loves attention he just wants everybody to touch him and look at him he's very cute you wish you could copy and paste life <laughs> it's an intra interesting interesting what would you use that newfound uh, amazing power for river thank you for the buses Oh my God, get those buttons and train them to talk. I, I truly don't think that Jimbo is smart enough to train to talk. I think he's, I don't know. I just think he's my little dummy. <laughs> uh, I might be able to teach um, Phoebe, our other cat, to talk that way because she's much smarter, I think, than Jimbo is. She's also much more calm and quiet. Very, she's she's much more like a cat, whereas Jimbo, I think, is much more like a dog. Is this the same round? The important part here is I want to make sure that the tops and bottom of the eyes are in the same round, so they're not like, um, like you know, one is higher than the other. So we're trying to make them at least similar in that regard. Yeah, but slow, sewing together for me really does slow me down because I'm just not as good at sewing together as I'm at actively crocheting. How you doing, AJ? How you doing? Oh, Philip's in the chat. Hello, Philip. How are you? Just finished work. Oh, well, I hope you had a great day of work. Um, Philip's here. He's the one that designed this pattern. Our designer is here. Our designer is here. How you doing, Philip? How's your day going? Right now we are in a race. Me and uh, AJ are racing to finish our sea turtle first. Uh, and I have a feeling AJ is going to beat me, but we will find out very soon. That's too high up, isn't it? No, it's not. That's right. Okay, we got our eyes sewn on. Now we gotta sew on the eyelids. The eyelids are really cool, by the way. I, You know what I really like about the eyelids for this pattern is it makes it look like a Muppet to me. And I think we all know how big of a fan I am of Muppets. So that's really cool. Big fan, big fan of Muppets. All right, so I don't know how you did this, Philip, but the way I've been sewing your uh, the eyelids on is, oh my gosh, AJ's already halfway through the second spin. <sighs> Yikes. All right, is I've been taking the center one here, the center bit, threading that on our needle, and then taking this and going straight through the center of the eye, and then finding, you know, a stitch somewhere 
sew together with. Ooh, I think Jules just dropped a bunch of glasses. I hope she's okay. You all right? Okay, she's okay. No, it's okay. I'm glad you're okay. Um, <laughs> your mother said that you shouldn't cheat a child. I won't be cheating you. Don't worry. Don't worry, AJ. I'm not cheating. I'm not cheating. You're kicking butt. Keep up the good work. Good luck. And don't worry, AJ's mom. I will never do that. This is a fair and square deal here. And also, I'm pretty sure AJ is going to beat me. And that's totally cool with me. Well, kinda. It's just my pride. It's just my pride. Who even needs it? Who even needs it? Okay, so as we go... Going pretty good. Looks like an eyelid. Here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I used the center to make it hit center, and then I use the rest of these to just sew around the outside. Uh, I actually have two more to use, so I need to kind of slow that down. Because I want it to end right here. So that it's more of like a this one this one this eyelid makes him look well kind of makes him look a little sad still just tired just a tired sea turtle and that makes sense if i were an animal a wild animal can you imagine how exhausting life would be to be an animal Whew. especially like a wild animal swimming through the ocean having to find your food all the time having to worry about something coming up and eating you I don't know, man. I'm just glad I'm a human. Life seems difficult for a for animals. Okay. Happy, oh, happy belated birthday, AJ. I didn't realize that. Congratulations, happy belated birthday. Hope you had a great day. Wow, you're fast crocheter for that young by the way okay we got one eye and one eyelid sewn on i'm on this side now it's kind of crazy right now but let's go ahead and sew the next one on do i know of any good yarn stores in san diego i do not i do not do not but uh if you find any ivy let me know. Uh, I am consistently trying to reach out to yarn stores to like basically collaborate or or get my kits in their stores and stuff. So if you find one that you really like, uh, let me know and and yeah, and if you want to, let them know about me. Oh, but you're going to got it. You're for your trip to San Diego. I'm not sure if if I know any yet, but if I find any. Uh, I will let you know, and if you find any, you let me know. We'll keep each other notified, I guess. I know, buddy. I'm talking to my crochet friends. Okay. Next eyelid. Wow, AJ, you're crazy, man. You're really fast. Am I getting your chats? I, I mean, I can see them. I can see him. Can you guys see uh, uh, Elias chats? I think you can. Are they not coming up on the screen? I think they're coming up on the screen. Yeah, I see him. Did I miss a stitch? No, we'll go right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We want to end. One, two. 
one last one. So Jules and I have been watching a show called, um, we've been pretty obsessed with a show called Carnival Row recently. So we're about to finish that one on Amazon. Anybody been watching that? It's pretty good. It's got, um, what's the guy from Lord of the Rings? Uh, uh, starts with an O. Um, uh, I can't remember his name is. Very handsome boy. Man, whatever. It's got that guy in it. Legolas from Lord of the Rings. And he's pretty good in it. It's a very fantasy related show that I like a lot. Oh my gosh, AJ's already done with both fins. He, he, he's officially ahead of us. Oh boy. Ah oh boy, geez. Oh gee whiz. Gee willikers even. Sounds like we're gonna have to send AJ a, a winning prize, but we'll see. We'll see. I still got. I st I'm still in this game, you know. It ain't over. It ain't over to the King Burb coos. Koshandra says that their turtle refuses to have eyelids. I refuse. I like these eyelids a lot, actually. They kind of don't look as sleepy as the other ones. The other ones, I see how they're like a little bit further down. Like, basically, if I sewed it right down to there. These ones are a little bit higher up, so they're a little bit... It looks more awake. I kind of like that. Okay. I'll add the spots uh, at the end, by the way. So we'll, we'll add that, we'll save that for detail. And move on to catch up to AJ. AJ, where you at? You're on the, you just finished both the fins? Okay, so I've got to do, we've got one arm done. I'll do the second arm now. All right. Oh, and AJ does a good pigeon call. You come in here. You gonna take my spot, AJ? You gonna start taking on this live stream? What do you? What's your deal here, bud? <laughs> oh my gosh, Hannah! Don't even get me started, man. Hannah said. Uh, uh, Hannah said that. Can you believe that uh, Tears of the Kingdom, the new Zelda game, is only two weeks away? Legitimately, I said that, and I swear to God, I got chills. I am very excited. <laughs> very, 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 very excited. It's going to be awesome. I'm so stoked. Uh, I want to do a, a Let's Play and Crochet with Jules for it. When she gets back from her trip. She's going to San Francisco for to do a show in a, in a uh, next week, actually. Oh, River says that they're the king of pigeons. Now we got a king of pigeons fight. <laughs> just a bunch of people like walking like this and going just. <laughs> That's how I imagine a pigeon fight would be. King pigeon band name? Maybe. Maybe a band name. Okay. It's round two done. Could be, could be my name. My Aaliyah says that their yarn is really tangled. Should you just unravel it? It's a good quality and color. Yeah, you shouldn't. I mean, if you got a lot of it, yeah, just re-roll it again. That's what I would do. Do you have a yarn roller? 
It does help out a lot. You're gonna be the queen of pigeons. Heck yeah, River. That's what we're gonna have to do this year's for this year's uh Earth or not Earth Day, uh Okay, one. Sorry, hold on. Two, got it. Um For this year's Burk uh Burb Day. Our I think it'll be our sixth Club Crochet's sixth Burb Day, I think. Uh, it'd be fun to make a queen pigeon since we made king pigeon last year. But we got some time for that. That's not until November. I'm totally out of focus, by the way. Let's change back to the autofocus. Oh, thank you for the little hearts. Hearts and smiles. I appreciate that. Okay got that round done now I'm on to round five are we embroidered I'm gonna embroider spots on spots on the aid uh, on the face AJ you do not have to you don't you don't have to embroider the spots if you want to take the cheap way out you go for it <laughs> one two. increase and then backwards increase and then one two what's after that zoom for change all right we have to be fair I think that's fair. I, th I mean, it's already unfair to you. So, the fact that you're gonna beat me and and you're, you know, you've got a handicap of I came cr pre crocheted. All right, Aaliyah, thank you for joining. Go eat dinner. I'll see you in a little bit. I hope you have a great dinner. I'm hungry. I want dinner. Jules made lasagna for me last night. It was so good. I'm gonna eat more of that today. I don't think there's, I think there's very few things that go better as leftovers than lasagna. I do like burritos actually. Burritos, leftover burritos are pretty good. Ooh, Cooper has finished the head. Cooper, you're pretty close behind us. All right, now we are on Wait, did I mess up? No. Yes, did I? Oh no, I think I messed up. Wait, 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 wait. I should've used a stitch marker. One, two, increase, one, two, increase. And then increase, one, two, increase, one, two. Oh no, no, I didn't mess up. Haha, <laughs> nice try. Nice try, AJ. Trying to think me messing up. Psh. Psh. You know, you're messing with your... Come on. <laughs> Just kidding. Kind of. All right. <laughs> but... Four. Five. One. Thank you, Crochet Young Gal. I appreciate you. I agree, I think it's looking pretty good so far. Uh, by the way, if you haven't yet, go ahead and enter the giveaway. Um, we are giving away a Jimbo pin to thank you for 150 likes last live stream. So if you want to win a Jimbo pin, uh, just check out the description. There is a link down there where you can give a, uh, you can enter the giveaway. It's very simple to enter, and you'll win a little Jimbo pin. We're gonna announce the winner 
later on on this live stream. Also, if you want to like this video, we're trying to get this video to, I think I said 200 likes? Yeah. So if this video gets 200 likes, we're going to do another giveaway next live stream. So if you would like to keep that ball rolling, like this video down below. And if you haven't yet, uh, you should consider donating to the World Wildlife Fund. Uh, that is the point of this live stream is we're trying to fundraise money for the World Wildlife Fund. If you donate using that little hand holdy icon at the bottom of the chat right now, um, or using the link in the description uh, by purchasing this pattern, you will get this pattern as well as uh, help to support sea turtles in the wild. So it's a good, it's for a good cause and it's a very cool pattern. Okay, just finished those two rounds. Rounds seven and eight are weird. I like them, but they're weird. Now we're on to round nine. We got some catching up to do though. Three. Especially when it comes to sewing stuff together. That's gonna take me a while. Two, and we're already halfway through the live stream. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, you guys. I don't know if we're gonna make it. Well, we'll make it, we'll make it. It just might be a little longer of a stream than I was expecting. Oop. Two, okay, wait. That's one, two, three, and here is four. Like that. Nice. Um, if you do finish your crocheted sea turtle, by the way, uh, post a picture of it with hashtag club crochet on Instagram. It's a good way to share your projects. There's also a Discord channel if you didn't know about that. Uh, links for all that are in the description too. Good places to share your projects if you want to. Oh my gosh, you finished all the fins already, AJ? Jeez Louise, dude. This dude. We got a shark. We got a crochet shark in the chat. One, two, three, four. Five. I know. Jimbo's Jimbo is upset. One, two, three, four, five. Invisible decrease. Jimbo. Is that Jimbo? I heard something. Okay, next we're on round 11. Last round for my fin, and then I gotta do the back legs. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know. Uh, you know what would definitely slow me down? A donation to the World Wildlife Fund. <laughs> Donate, I'll put something out on screen and it'll slow me down. Give AJ a better chance to win. Just saying. I'm just out here saying. <laughs> All right. One, two, three, there, there, that's good. One there, and then decrease here. I think this is our last stitch for our back fin. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Stitch one. All right. Mundo. Pretty good. Oh, Jimbo wants out. All right, we got our back fin, or our front fins. Next up are our back fins. Those ones are nice and easy, though. Cooper! Oh, Cooper. Rude, but fair. Let's add another thing for Cooper. Uh, next up, we're going to add this black footed ferret for Cooper, um, a pattern by Lemon Yarn Creations uh, that she made for our collaboration last year. I loved this pattern because it's way, okay, this is what's so crazy about this pattern. This pattern is actually made with no sewing at all because she used this like crazy technique where she made each of these legs and they're like flattened and then you crochet like around the edge of the legs. It was a super unique technique that I've actually never seen in crochet uh, and it makes it way easy to make. Highly suggested, check out this Blackfooted Ferret pattern. Uh, you can find this one and all the patterns we're talking about at clubcrochet.com slash earthday, by the way. 
Um, but thank you, Cooper. Thank you for your donation. We're going to have this on screen right now. Uh, and this is also another uh, um, alternative pattern for the seasonal kit. So there you go. If you want to get a seasonal kit, uh, you could make this ferret as well with your kit. So that's kind of, that's kind of fun. Thank you again for your donation, Cooper. It is definitely for a good cause. That's one of, that's one of Cooper's favorite endangered patterns. Wow, interesting. Yeah, it's, it, I always love seeing what uh, people's favorites are of their endangered patterns. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I think one thing I'd like to do next year, if I can, is do a little book of all the different patterns and put them all together into a book and then uh, do printable, you know, you, you can buy a printed version and then the proceeds for the printed version goes to the World Wildlife Fund to kind of like, you know, put push it up a notch. Push it up a notch. Oh, dude, Crafty Kittens. Okay, wait, let me finish this around and then I'll get to that, Crafty Kittens. Uh, thank you for your donation, though. Is that New Zealand money? Is NZ mean New Zealand $9? I'm going to guess that's what that means. One, two, three, and increase here. One, and two. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Crafty Kittens. Super duper, super duper appreciated. Uh, let's add into the background this fella here. This is our man, our dugong pattern from last year's uh, collaboration with uh, Druby Zoo. So Druby Zoo made this adorable, look at him. Oh my gosh, he's so, so cute. I think this might be one of my favorite patterns from the Earth Day collaborations because it it is just like really cool. And he made like, he did, he did like some weird half double crochet things to add increases here. And I don't know, I just think this is a really cool pattern and just super duper cute. So uh, yeah, we're gonna put this out on screen for you crafty kittens. Thank you so much for your support. And uh, yeah, it's fun, to, it's fun to have a Kiwi in the live stream too. Make a car, a Kari stop yelling in your ears. Kari, leave your sister alone. Leave her alone. Yelling in her ears isn't helping. You gotta yell in her feet. That's where all the yelling should go. Right into the feet. Into the balls of your feet. Okay, now River. When they start, when Akari starts yelling in your feet, you know what to do. No, don't kick her. No, don't. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> oh, Lix, thank you so much for joining. I know it's a late night over there. I really appreciate your uh, you joining in though. Thank you for that. Happy hooking. And uh, I hope you have sweet dreams. Okay, one more round here for the back fins. And then, what is after that? Oh, the body, right, right, right. Right, right, right. We still have like three things to crochet and it's almost, whew, we're cutting, we are cutting this timeline close, close. Especially with AJ, we're hot on AJ's heels right now. Okay. But I have a feeling AJ is going to beat us because I'm so slow when it comes to sewing things together. So I don't know how I'm going to be able to catch up when it comes to that. Oh, AJ is halfway done with the body, so we need to catch up because we're just starting the body. Okay, here we go, here we go. Fast, super speedy pattern here. Here we go, we go. We're gonna use this stitch marker. Great. Six. Speed crochet. I 
actually don't know if we're really going to need the stitch marker, but whatever. So much for speed crochet. Jeez, what are the all these goofs? That's right, bunny life. Welcome, Tegan. I love your name, by the way. Great name. Tegan is a fun name. slows you down in a speed crochet messing up man dude AJ your wrists must be killing you you should you should really uh, just take a just let's just take a break just take a quick just take a quick 10 quick 10 minute break why not why not why why not right why not You deserve it. You deserve a break. <laughs> okay. We're we're catching up. I think we're catching up. You feel do you feel me? You feel me hot on your trail? I think you do. Speeding up. Yeah, yeah. Get you. Okay, I'm gonna pull this stitch marker up this time. Crochet young gal just said that they finished a small polar bear. Oh, that's fun. Now you're gonna make a black bear. Oh no, sorry. Cute though. Okay, yep, let's do that. Let's do that, AJ. Yeah, post it once you're done. Post it on Instagram. And uh, yeah, just let us know your Instagram in the chat and we'll pull it up on the screen and take a look at your finished sea turtle. That is if you beat me, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Because I am catching up to you. My forearms are killing me. <laughs> I'm crocheting so fast to catch up to AJ that my forearms, this is a workout at this point. I'm gonna need to take a crochet break after this. Carpal tunnel syndrome because I'm trying to beat AJ. Uh, by the way, AJ, yeah, feel free to do the Instagram route. Um, I do think you should email me uh, if you're able to later, um, so that I can, you know, send you something and uh, and just say hi. Thank you for the little likes. I see you just hitting that little like thing. Oh, can you see it actually like on the video too? That's kind of cool. That's fun. Okay. Shoot, where am I? What round am I on? Ah! Uh, two, three, ah, oh, got it. I know where I'm at. I know where I'm at. Hi, hey, what? Where am I? Who am I? Ah! Ooh, Twiz just placed their eyes. Congratulations. Congratulations. Un. Deux. Trois. Double decrease. 
How do you say invisible decrease in, in French? Oh, thank you for all the likes. I, I see those. I see those. Oh, hey, though. Uh, if you haven't yet, you should also like this video. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Another round of single crochets. I'm just keeping this pink yarn out here because I'm using it as a stitch marker, but I don't really need it to keep going with the rounds because I just want to rip it out really quick. So if you're wondering why I just have a loose pink strand, it's because of that. I just want to be able to pull it out once I'm done and just use it as a general idea on where the end of the round is. It's just so I don't have to think as much. I don't gotta do the whole thinky thinky stuff. All right, I caught, I'm about halfway on the body now. Whew. Keep going. I'm sure. I'm sure AJ is probably done with the body by now. If not already, making the sh top shell or whatever's next. Speedy Gonzalez over here. I'm sitting here. I'm Slowpoke Rodriguez. Anybody? Uh, <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to love the Looney Tunes. I still do love the Lo Looney Tunes, but I used to also. And uh, um, there was, there's a character called Speedy Gonzalez, who's like a really fast mouse. And then he's got a cousin that's named is Slowpoke Rodriguez. It's a really slow mouse. And uh, yeah, it's just funny. Look up Slowpoke Rodriguez. It's a really, it's a silly, but kind of funny video. Okay. I feel like I missed a decrease there, but I don't think I did. Just feel like it. Okay. Yeah, if I can finish up the top shell, at very least the top shell by the end of the hour, uh, I should be good, but I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. All right. Two. Dude, River, you weren't really supposed to kick your sister dude no no bad job bad job i'm gonna get, i'm gonna get in trouble <laughs> for you kicking your sister all right crafty kittens thanks so much for joining and thanks for your support for the world wildlife fund appreciate it I'll see you in the next stream. Uh, by the way, uh, just so you know, we're gonna be live next week, same time, same place. We're gonna be making a tortoise. So we made a turtle this week, we're gonna be doing a tortoise next week. Uh, if you wanna see that tortoise, well then cheer on AJ, because if AJ beats me in crochet, not only am I gonna send AJ a special prize to say congratulations, but also I'm gonna show you that tortoise at the end of the stream. Uh, it's not done, so I'm showing you a pre-preview that I really wasn't expecting to show you. So you gotta be nice to me, or else. Because it didn't, let's just go, let's just say that the prototype did not turn out the way I wanted it to. It doesn't look bad, it gives me, like I know what to do for the, for the final version, but it, there is a few, there's, I did goof up. I, I goofed up a little bit on it, so. Aaliyah, what'd you miss? Oh my gosh, what did Aaliyah miss? Ugh. Anybody wanna let her know? I'll tell her. There was a giant stork, like, and when I say giant, I'm talking like six foot tall stork. Jammed its, its beak through the roof, grabbed the camera, I had to fight it off. It was crazy. Everybody was cheering and screaming. 
It was wild. Then Jimbo came in, saved the day, scratched the stork. The stork flew off. We fixed the roof. And uh, yeah, that's what you missed. Right? Right, everybody? Corroborate my, my, uh, not lie. That's what, that's what you missed. That's what you missed. That really happened for sure. Okay, body is done. We'll stuff it up a little later. Uh, next up to catch up to Mr. AJ, we are on the back shell. We're gonna need a brown yarn for this one. The good thing is the back shell is pretty easy to make at least. Yes, you did not miss Jimbo. Jimbo is being a butt nug in the other room. Screaming at Jules while she cooks. Sorry. Three, four, five, and six. Yeah, see, Mary Mary corroborates my my story. It's all true. Definitely true. Totally happened. See? Everybody's got my back here. Thank you guys. <laughs> Finding an alibi. I'll make sure to I'll make sure to ask the chat. No, no, the chat knows. The chat. I couldn't have killed that guy. <laughs> All right, we are making the back shell. What is Jules cooking? I don't know, but it smells good. I think she's maybe ma making leftover lasagna. Leftover lasagna is an album. That's got to be in the name of an album. Yeah, she's making roasted stork. That's right. That's exactly what she's making. <laughs> Roasted stork. Oh, long longs. Thank you. Yeah, you totally should crochet this. It's a very fun pattern. Very fun. Very fun indeed. Indeed. And dead. All right. How many more? 24, okay. Okay, we've got, actually, you know what? We might be able to finish the top of the shell and the bottom of the shell before the end of the hour. Maybe, if I'm like crazy fast. I mean, that's only five minutes, but I could do it. I, I've, I've done crazier for sure. Well, that's not very nice. Hey, Hamilton, how we doing, my dude? Hamilton's a friend from San Francisco. How you doing, friend? Hope you're having a great day. Toidle, that's right, we're making a toidle. The name of a song is Leftover Lasagna. Well, that's pretty close. Pretty close, if you ask me. Ranking of Kings? What is Ranking of Kings? What is that? That sounds interesting. Hamilton. Oh, well, thanks, dude. You're you're sweet. I wish I still lived up there. I could use your help figuring out how to use my 3D printer. I got a 3D printer in like a year and a half ago and I still haven't used it just because I'm like scared of it. <laughs> I feel like there's so much I can make with it. I want to start doing eyes. I want to start doing like special safety eyes that are uh, special made for only my stuff. And then I want to start doing little teeth and horns and stuff that you can clip on your crochet. I got so many ideas. So many ideas. All 
All right, almost done with this round, which will be the last round of the back of the shell because we're flying to catch up to AJ, who is running out of steam, aren't you? Aren't you, AJ? Just teasing. Slip stitch. Pretty long end on this one. Make sure I did that right. Okay, cool. Shell is done. A shell of a shell. All right. Next up, we're making the bottom of the shell. Oh, that's right. This one's worked flat. Did I finish? No, I haven't finished the bunny. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, little plastic hats. Yes, dude. Um, I got an Elegoo. Is the 3D printer that I have. It's like a, uh, it's like a resin printer that like, like there's a bunch of wet resin and it like picks up the, the print out of it. It's crazy. What I really don't understand is how to make uh, 3D designs for it. Um, I think I should start messing around with Blender, but I'm kind of afraid to use Blender. Uh, but that's my current idea is like, okay, well maybe if I start messing with Blender, I could figure out how to do like a 3D model of eyes uh, and then print like a flat one that I could pop the eyes out. Um, yeah, that's my current thought, but I don't really know. I don't really know where to start there. Yeah, a Mars. I got a Mars. I think I got a. Yeah, it's it's it is a it's a really high quality one. Um, and then I think there's like the Saturn is with it too. So like the the thing that helps you cure the stuff, so that you don't have to like cure it in the sun or whatever. I think that's what I got, but I don't know. One, two, three, four. Five. Yeah, my arms hurt too, AJ. By the way, we are, yeah, like I'm, I'm, I, I'm, yeah, <laughs> I'm definitely getting a workout here. Wait, 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 wait. Did I already do that round? Oh yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, it's scary. It's a really scary one. We'll have to do a call or something, dude. Hey, could you, I don't, I think, I, you know, I probably still have your number. I'm, I'm sure I have your number. I'll just text you about it. Because I think I know how to set it up and I have the, I think I have everything I need for it. It's just, I don't know. Um, it's the 3D designing part that I'm like, kind of more, I mean, I am scared about setting it up, but. I'm even more scared about figuring out how to do 3D designs for it. I think what I'm scared about for that, by the way, is like, oh wait, I think I did an extra round. One, two, three. Yeah, I did. So, wait, I need to do one, two. This should be a single crochet, two together. Okay. I believe that's right. We got one, two, three, four, five, six rounds done. Yeah, okay. So we could shake two together. And then two. Chain one turn. And then it's just. Now is the weird part where I gotta crochet across. Okay. Dope, thank you for texting me. I'll get back to you tonight.
Yeah, sometimes I do that to uh, a lot, uh, Aaliyah. I like to, like, not spend a ridiculous amount of time, like, trying to untangle yarn, rather just cut my losses, literally. Um, okay. Three. All right. Now down the piece we go. And then after this I, is just sewing together, like a ridiculous amount of sewing together. So AJ's probably already starting to sew together. <laughs> probably. That looks right. Yeah, that looks right. Bottom of the shell. Slip stitching one. Cutting the yarn. And let's begin the laborious process. We've got, ooh, I did do it in an hour. Okay, so we got one hour to sew everything together. That's actually, I think that's a pretty reasonable amount of time to sew stuff together. There's a lot of sewing, but I think we could do it. When am I gonna post another tutorial? Oh, we've been posting a lot of tutorials, actually, Tegan. Um, they've just all been on the website. So, uh, but we will be posting a new tutorial uh, pretty soon. Um, I've got I've got like a series of Amigurumi 101 tutorials that I've been working on uh, that I'd like to start coming out with. Like, there's one that I've worked on that's like here's how to make um, here's how to use pipe cleaners really well to make tools and to use for your crochet. There's one about making different kinds of eyes. So I've been working on stuff. It's just like you know I've got a million bazillion things I'm working on. So. Ooh, River wants to do a competition next live stream too. I'll take I'll I'll take the that. I like it. It's fun. It's a fun little challenge we got going on. Oh, speaking of challenge, Club Crochet Challenge coming back. It's coming back. Uh, yeah, Club Crochet Challenge is coming back. Uh, middle of May is when we have it planned. We're going to do a, um, a cactus challenge. So it's going to be crochet cactus and uh, it'll, yeah, it'll be a customizable cactus pattern. Uh, customizable cactus pattern coming out soon too. But if you like the Club Crochet Challenge and you've been waiting for it patiently, uh, good news is it's coming back soon. Yeah, sorry I haven't made a tutorial in quite a while, um, but thank you for asking, Tegan. It's uh, it's nice to um, use these live streams as a way to be like, oh, okay, that's what people want, basically. Um, so if you have requests like that, these are that's exactly what the point of these live streams are. Well, it's not the only thing that the point of these live streams are, obviously, but it does. It is nice to be able to talk with you and figure out what. I should put be putting more effort into. Okay, I think I have one, two, three. Wait. Okay, so we have five to work with. Okay, I, I'm gonna try to figure this out before I do it, so I don't mess it up. One, two, four, six. Okay, that might work. So we'll go. Can you hear Jimbo meowing in the other room? He's like two rooms away and he's just yowling. Not even meowing anymore, just yowling. I'll go up to this one actually.
Monocle, yes, monocle. I'll do a tutorial for that. Um, and glasses, obviously. I've, I've been meaning to do a tutorial for glasses for a long time. Two, three, four, boom. One, two, three. I think this is right. Um, oh, shoot. You know, one thing I was thinking about doing is putting a pipe cleaner through this. So let me go, go ahead and do that. I'm adding an extra step, which is going to be a bummer because AJ is going to have more time to catch to beat me. But I think this would be really fun to add. So I'm going to add this. Uh, don't worry, AJ, you do not need to add this because I think you're already way past it. Um, so don't worry about this. But I'm going to try putting, I want to try putting a pipe cleaner in here so that I can make the head poseable. I don't know how well this is going to work after I've already sewn the head closed, but it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot just to see what happens. I wanted to like, it was something I was thinking about before the live stream. I was like, oh, I want to try this out. So, Ooh, a koala. A, ko a ko koala? What's that? Not a koala. What is that, River? I've never heard of that before. Hmm. I wonder what that is. Never hoid a bet. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna try. I'm just gonna try to like shove this into the. No, that's not gonna work. I don't think this is gonna work. AJ, you're not even done with the show. Got some speeding up to do. Okay, we're gonna try like this. I think if I just go like into the head and then just like kind of shove in, twisty, twisty, twisty. No, twisty, twisty, twisty. No. <laughs> I need a stick. Okay, let's try this. I'm just gonna, I'm trying to make some space in the head to fit my pipe cleaner in. Make it a little easier for me. Yeah, that worked better. So we go like that, we go into the body, open that pipe cleaner up, pull it through a little bit more. Okay. I don't know if that's gonna work at all, but it shouldn't hurt. I'm just thinking maybe that if I add that pipe cleaner in there like this, I'll be able to like kind of make the head in a different direction. One, two, three, four. One, two. Okay, we're good. But I don't know. We're going to find out. Oh, you already sewed the body together. Oh, okay. Okay, so you're just working at a different kind of in a different order than I am. Oh, koala, okay. Okay, so let's see. If I do it like this now, will it? Ah, a little bit, it, eh, it didn't, didn't work as well I'd like as I'd like to but it kind of worked okay double knot I got the body sewn to the head it's a good start good start oh my tummy's a rumbly right now I'm hungry I'm gonna drink water to make my stomach think that I'm eating. Mmm. Ivy, that's a good idea. A Bengal tiger? That's a fun one. I'd love to do that. Uh, okay, next up, we're going to add the back legs and the front legs. Um, let's start with the front. Uh, and I'm going to do the same thing with the pipe cleaner. But... Why don't you go in your spot? Let's try this pipe cleaner thing again. 
Yeah, I know. During the summer, could, you could make a crochet garden. Oh, that's actually, Aaliyah, we're working on that right now with the, um, the photosynthesis kit. So if you want to actually crochet along with me to make a garden, uh, sign up for our new seasonal kits. They come with all the materials you need to make uh, six different projects and they are all um, plant-based. So we'll actually be making a garden uh, starting not next live stream, but the live stream after of that is when we're gonna start really getting into the garden stuff. Yeah, they're part of our new seasonal crochet kits. Okay. So I don't know how well this is gonna work, but I figure it is worth a shot. Because we'll have one, yeah. I think that I I think it might be kind of fun to like have the the limbs be able to like move a little bit. So we're gonna give that a shot. We're gonna go right through here. Go straight across to like there. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Okay, I'm making just a bit of a gap there so that I can put the pipe cleaner through it. Like that. This will go on one side, this will go on the other side, great. I'm just gonna bend these edges down. I wonder how well this is gonna work. Okay, and then I'm also going to have to stuff this a little bit, but let's go ahead, I'm gonna sew on, start sewing on our limb, our arm. one of our arms, like this. So now hopefully when we're done sewing this arm on, it'll be like posable so we can have it like sitting itself up and stuff like that. Um, okay, I'm gonna add some stuffing in it too. I didn't stuff my last one so I kind of messed that up, but I don't think you need very much stuffing for these limbs. Yeah, that's that that's enough. Yeah, for sure. Because I still want it to be somewhat flat, you know, like a fin would be. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Why did the koala not make the cut for being a bear? It didn't meet the qualifications. Oh my God, that's beautiful. What a beautiful, dumb joke. I love it. Great joke, it's great. Thank you. Slash, I'm sorry to the chat for having to hear me uh, praise a dumb joke. You know how I love my dumb jokes though. Okay. Yeah, I don't wanna go too fast while I'm sewing this on even though I know I'm in a race because I don't wanna like mess up because I'm trying to speed up too fast so and have to go back and redo some stuff so I'm gonna try to take my time a little bit with these limbs because they are kind of complicated for me to sew on um, I don't know if you're having if you have that issue as much AJ but I personally have a difficult time with sewing these limbs on But I think we're going to be all right today. Okay. This top one, I think I do like through the edge like this. I mean, the good thing is also the top and the bottom shell are going to be um, covering up a lot of mistakes so that's what's kind of nice about all this sewing is that like if something looks a little weird eh, it's not that big of a deal because the piece is gonna be wait, how many stitches do I have to work with here 
one, two, and that last one. There's our last one. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's actually not that bad. Stitch here, and then this stitch, and then our last stitch right there. Boom, boom. But yeah, the shell is going to cover up a lot of like tiny mistakes, which will be nice. He, he definitely could already be done. Uh, he's probably not. He's probably not done. Just because he's got to also add the dots and spots. But maybe he is. And I'll try to pull up your picture once you are done, AJ, on the screen for everybody to see. That way you can get a little bit, maybe some Instagram followers too out of this. That's kind of fun. Okay, fin numero dos. Good, that's, yes, 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 yes. That's kind of nice that I can bend it now. I like that. Oh, I can't wait to send Philip that. I'm like, hey, just so you know, I did this thing. side so gotta stuff it more on both sides I played stitch last night with a friend had a little friend date and went and played stitched uh, and it was super fun we went to a board game place in like Burbank there's a place called I think it's called like geeky tees or something like that so I decided to go there and uh, play Stitched and show a friend Stitched. And it was really, it went really well. It was like the first time he'd ever played it before. So it was fun to get his feedback and see what he thought about it. And uh, just tell him about like all the ideas I have for it. He's uh, also designing a game. So I always like to play games with other people that are designing games because we, we have very similar like thoughts about our games and like what we're looking for out of it yeah oh no aj you beat me <sighs> i've been bested i've been bested i'll never forgive you aj i'll never forgive you post it on instagram i want proof i want proof aj uh, lava run is good i played that yesterday as well with them Congratulations, everybody. Round of, round of applause for AJ. Congratulations, AJ. I want to see proof, though, so post a picture whenever you can. And then I will uh, email you with your prize. I'm, I've been trying to think about what to give you as a prize. I think I'm just going to give you like a little packet of stickers and uh, maybe this Jimbo pin and stuff like that. But congratulations, seriously, that's, you're very, very fast. Ooh, Linda, you're making a set for Stitch, that's cool. That's super cool. So we got one, two, three. One, two, three, yeah, I think that's right. I think I'm doing this right. How did you go so fast, AJ? You're crazy, my dude. Uh, AJ, when you, yes, absolutely. Whoever wants to race me next live stream, you're absolutely welcome to give it a shot. Um, 
AJ, I don't even know how you did that though, man. That's you're wild, dude. Very, very fast. Super speedy. Uh, also, AJ, you got to give yourself a break now, dude. Like, if your arms feel, if your wrists feel as tired as my wrists feel right now, you're gonna, you should be careful. Because when I was your age, I crocheted really, really fast and like pushed myself too much, and then I got carpal tunnel, and then I couldn't crochet for like a month, and it sucked. So, give yourself a pat on the back, but also take a break from crocheting for the day or at the very least crochet something easy and uh yeah post your post your instagram account whenever you get a chance okay so we got the limbs sewn on how the heck did you finish that so quick that's crazy also look at that we can make them sit up a little bit with our pipe cleaners that's cool all right next we're gonna sew on the back fins uh the good thing about the back fins is that we do not need to add the pipe cleaners to the back fins. Uh, I guess we didn't really need to put the pipe cleaners in the front fins either, but still. All right, see you later, River. Have fun. Tell your friend we, say, we all say hi. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna, if this, if like, if challenging me to see if you can crochet faster becomes like a thing people wanna really do, we're definitely gonna have to come up with rules. Um, I love the idea though. If that's really what you guys wanna start doing, I'm totally cool with it. But we do need to come up with rules like, okay, how, you know, like, where do we start? When do we start it? What's the prize? That's always a good, that's an important rule to cover. We want this like that, right? So I'm actually gonna think I'm gonna go do the half stitch like this. In up. Let's see, so we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six stitches to work with. And that'll be two. One, two, three, five. Okay. I really should have went one stitch more. Okay, wait, I'm gonna undo that last one then. One, two, buckle my shoe. Like that, even though maybe that's a little bit high up, but you know, it'll get pulled back. Yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, looking for Dana, that's what AJ's Instagram handle is, I think, maybe? Is that what your Instagram handle is? Um, I'm gonna stuff this back leg just a tiniest bit. Uh, once I get our legs sewn on, uh, we'll we'll take a look at AJ's post, by the way. Uh, so don't worry if you don't have an Instagram like Aaliyah does. Uh, that's not a big deal because we're going to be showing it on the stream anyhow. It's going to take me a second to figure out how to do that, but I know I can. I know I can. I believe in myself. I'm a believer. AJ, you're crazy, my dude. I, I really don't know how you did that so fast. You are crazy. Tegan's back. Welcome back, Tegan. 
Oh, we have confirmation. AJ has officially beat me. Congratulations, AJ. I didn't doubt you, though. I knew you could do it. I knew you could do it. I could tell. You were, you were speedy Gonzalez. All right. One back leg. I want this back leg, and then we can show off AJ's finished one. Oh, and then we also need to show off our tortoise as part of the deal. It's part of the deal. So one part of the back is going to go there, and we want... here and I'll just keep it going on the bottom oh everybody's talking about AJ's crochet I can't wait to see it uh, you want to see both cats is Jimbo in a spot oh he is good boy what a good boy I'll try to get Phoebe. Phoebe's a very, very secretive kitty. But if you remind me before the end of the live stream, I'll try to get him. Uh, I will forget, though. So if you do not remind me, I will forget. Or heard, yeah, yeah. True. Jimbo is the loud, un not annoying, talkative one. All right. Okay, we'll go right there. Okay, how many more stitches do we have here? One, two, one, two, and then four, five. Yeah, okay. Oh wait, this needs to go up one more stitch actually. Does it? Yeah. So we actually need to make it go here. Oops. Man, I AJ, you like beat me so bad. It wasn't even look at this. It's not even close. You like beat me by like half an hour. And I had two things crocheted before you even started. Crazy, my dude. You're crazy. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh no, AJ's not my cat. My cat, the kid's, the kitty's name is Jimbo. That's Jimbo in the, on the cam right there. What? A maze feed is already done also? What the heck? What the heck? How? How? How is everybody so fast? Why am I so slow? Oops. Okay. Last stitch. We're sewing on our little back legs. I actually really like how I sewed those back legs on too. And the four four limbs too. Cute, cute, cute. Cute turtle cute turtle is cute. Sonic speed. Yes, that is the plesiosaur I'm pretty sure on top of Jimbo. 
Let's let's zoom it in there. One sec. Okay, so I got the uh, bottom done. Okay, so the only things I need to sew on left are the top shell and the bottom shell, and we're gonna get to those in just a second. But first off, let's take a closer look at Jimbo as I figure out how to show AJ's picture uh, on the screen. What was AJ's username again? Hold on, I gotta zoom up. Looking for Dana. Okay, cool. All right, first we need to do this. You guys can stare at my beautiful kitty. And then, while we're figuring that out, I'm trying to find I'm trying to find it right now. We're gonna also follow you. There it is. Okay, wait. I see it. I see it, AJ. Wait, I don't know if you can see this on screen though. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out how to get this to be seen on screen. Give me a sec. Okay. Okay, I. This is difficult for me to do because I'm a goofball that can't figure out simple stuff, but I think I got it right. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm working on it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm working on it. Oh no, everything freezing. Okay, oh, I thought I just broke everything. Wow, that scared me big time. Oh dang, you nabbit, I just screwed everything up. Okay. Uh, I think I did this right. Uh, 
I apologize in advance if I mess this up. But... Okay, so there is... I hope you guys can see this, uh, uh, I guess. Try to let me know in the chat. I can't really see the chat right now. Oh yes, I can see the chat. There we go. Okay, so check it out. This is... This... Oh, I already liked it. This is, uh, uh, AJ's turtle. Look at that. Congratulations, AJ. That is, that is official. That is absolutely official. You, you 100% beat me. Good job. Very good, very good. Very good indeed. Okay, let's get back to it though. Oh man, I just goofed it. No. Nope. Okay. I'm back. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Cool, you can. Okay, cool. Alright, alright. Sorry, I obviously wasn't set up for that before. But congratulations, AJ. Very good job. Really, really good job. Super impressed. And, uh, yeah, I'll message you on Instagram after this. If you want or you can email me uh, whatever makes you most comfortable and I'll, I'll send you a little prize and then we'll I'll show off my uh, project for next week once I'm done with our turtle here as reward for the chat oh yes and what Ivy said make sure to like the video if you haven't can you change your answer in the answer no you can't but don't worry about that that much uh, if you have if you have something that you'd like to do you mean can you change your answer to like the question of what you want me to crochet next or do you, what do you mean by that actually I should say yeah because that's right we are doing a giveaway today also now when I sew this on the way I like to sew these this part on is I kind of just like I don't I'm not gonna sew it like every part of this uh, shell on I kind of just like pick and choose spots And I'll just hold it into place and then sew it on that's what I did on the last one and it actually worked out really well Because you don't really I don't think you really need to sew on all of it I mean, I guess we can try for some of it Thank you, AJ. That was super fun. Thank you for, for challenging me. And and again, congratulations on winning. I guess. Whatever. <laughs> whatever, dude. No, but seriously, that was super impressive. I can't, I um, honestly, when I was like going to look at it, before Cooper said, like, I saw it, I was like, there's no way. There's no way. <laughs> super duper impressive. Okay. There. I'm gonna go up to this. Yes, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It does help support this channel. And you'll get notified when we make new things, which is always nice. I actually might stuff the shell a little bit. Maybe before we finish. I don't know if that's gonna help it at all, but like it looks a little unstuffed. Like look, it could get stuffed a little and be a little taller. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe we'll give that a shot. The problem with the stuffing part is that I, like I said, I'm not sewing every part of this stitch on. so. I'm a little worried that if I try stuffing it, that the stuffing will show through or like will come out of the shell, but maybe I don't have to worry about that too much, especially if I don't stuff it too tightly, or too thoroughly or whatever, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, chicken wing?
actually, I'm going to skip all that. I'm just going to go right over to this lane. Oh, thank you. I love that little dinosaur too. It's probably my one of my favorites. Um, I'm going to stuff this back just a tiniest bit. It's not letting you enter the giveaway, Aaliyah? Hmm. That's not good. Actually, that stuff at the back was not a bad idea. I like it. Okay, this stitch. I'm gonna gorge myself on lasagna after this. Gorge. Gorge? Have you ever made a blanket? I've made half a blanket, and then I got bored. And so then it's a baby blanket. <laughs> I was like, full intention, I'm gonna finish this blanket. And then I got like halfway through and I was like, I can't do this anymore. I wanna make something else. How do I keep all my yarn organized? Not very well. Um, I've got a cabinet with all my yarn and I color coordinate it. So it's all it's all color coordinated. That's how I like to um, keep my, my uh, yarn organized. I'd show you, but I don't really have any way to show you right now. So maybe maybe in a live stream where I do the chill live stream on the couch, not on the couch, but on the chair over there, um, I'll show you then. Uh, okay, last bit. We just need to sew on this bottom. Oh wait, no, and then we need to do the spots. Man, how the heck did you beat me so bad, AJ? That's crazy. Uh, what project is my favorite that I've made? Oof, I really like Jack Gurgle, my puppet. He was really really fun to make. Um, that one is really cool. Uh, I also really like, let's see, Stitched. My Stitch set is like crazy cool. I'm a huge fan of that. That That's actually the thing that like I use the most that I've crocheted would be my Stitch set. Can you post your finished project on YouTube and tag you? Uh... I don't know. I don't know how that works. I don't know how posting on YouTube really works. Like under like the community post. I don't really know. I mean, you can try, definitely give it a shot. I just don't know how that works at all. Do I have a list of all the endangered animals that I've made Amigurumi for? We do have a list of that. I think you can find it by just going to clubcrochet.com slash earth day. Um, I think I need to update that page after this live stream but uh it should have most of them there uh if you want a list i can just rattle them off right now we've got uh uh the a black rhino that was made from sir pearl gray um the uh sloth that was made by myself uh the red panda by lemon yarn creations there's uh that was a few years ago there's also a planet earth um, that one's my pattern. Uh, we actually did that as a live crochet along last week. And then there's, let's see. Uh, and then the next year, uh, you can see a lot of the next years on screen actually. We've got the pangolin um, from Surf Pro Gray. We've got a, uh, let's see, a, um, a, a dugong from Druby Zoo. Uh, there's also instructions for making it a manatee, as they are very closely related. Uh, we made a black-footed ferret that you can see on screen now. Um, there's a taper. Oh, oh the black-footed ferret is by uh, Lemon Yarn Creations as well. She's the one that did the um, the other pattern, the uh, the red panda. And then there is the um, the taper from Ohana Crafts. Uh, that one, I love it. Very, very cute. Last year we made a taper using her pattern and made it purple with a, uh, a leaf hat on. It was so cute. It was it was uh, what we did on our live crochet along. Super duper cute. I think that's, I 
think that's all of them. Oh, and then this year we have our turtle, sea turtle that you see right now, uh, and then my tortoise, which you will see uh, next week. Or actually, I'll show you it in just a second. I'll show you a prototype of it. It is not the finished version of it. And you'll see why that's not the finished version of it. You'll It'll be pretty clear once I show you. You'll be like, oh yeah, that needs some work. Um, <laughs> but I'll be working on it all, all this weekend. Uh, I've had to, I had to finish up this pattern first uh, before I made it, so. Um, I'll go right here with it. Bottom shell, I could have done better with sewing this bottom shell on, I think. It's not that bad though. It just looks chubbier. Doesn't it look chubbier than my first one? I guess it's not that much chubbier. It's gotten, gotten access to a few more jellyfish. Did you know that's what sea turtles eat? They eat jellyfish. I mean, they eat a lot of things, but one of the things they eat is jellyfish. Which is why they are uh, very fragile in nature because you know what looks a lot like jellyfish? A floating plastic bag. And you know what there's a lot of in the ocean right now? Floating plastic bags. So, hence, uh-oh. Sea turtles need need some help. So you should donate. Okay. That's the last of our sewing on there. Oh, that's what that is. It's the pipe cleaner. I'll go ahead and bend that in a little bit more. Okay. Bottom shell sewn on. Last thing I want to do is add some green spots and then we'll be good. And then we've got a lot of things to do at the end here. We've got to show you my tortoise. I need to, uh, we need to announce a winner for the giveaway and uh, talk about next live stream a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good though. And it sits up a little bit too, which is nice because of the pipe cleaners. That's a nice little, nice little addition there. I like the stuffing in the arms. I didn't do that for the last one and it looks really nice. He's a little bit hunkier for sure. Like, look at this last one. A little bit hunkier on our new one, but not that that's a bad thing. Just an observation. Okay, let's add some green spots. Oh, yeah, that's my bad, Becky. It's because I copied it. The, from the dragon giveaway. Uh, thanks for letting me know though. I'll try to fix that uh, for next time we do a giveaway. Um, okay, so we're gonna go up to the bottom here. And when I add spots, I kind of just do it sporadically. So we're just gonna kind of embroider on some random spots here. One, two, let's go up to this one. We'll make the big spot on the bottom. Because that way it's like always gonna be a little bit different, which is nice too but I essentially just go around the same stitch over and over. Where do I get my yarn? Well, the Club Crochet yarn is uh, custom milled for us. Um, so that one is special just to us, but our Lily, my Lily Sugar and Cream yarn, I just buy it wholesale. Uh, I buy a bunch of it at one time, um, but you can probably find it, uh, Lily Sugar and Cream you can find at a lot of craft stores. Uh, including like Joanne Fabrics, Michaels, things like that. Um, you can also find them all online, of course. Yeah, I think that's a that's probably a good answer to the question. Do you have anything in specific you want to ask about that though? Uh, any tips on making a blanket? Be patient, it's ultra patient. Like I said, I've never even finished a blanket because I don't have the patience for it. Um, yeah, uh, I think maybe a good way to make a blanket if you're like really, really dying to make a blanket, maybe try a grand, granny square blanket because then you could just make a bunch of little sections over a series of days and then at the end just like sew everything together and then bam, you got a blanket. And you didn't even like, you didn't make it just in one long sitting, you made it in like a bunch of sittings put together. I don't know, that's maybe a good idea, I don't know. What is my recommendation for crochet tools for painful hands or fingers? Ooh, 
one really big tip for that uh, is there are these gloves that you can wear. They kind of like compress your hand like this and they like just compress everything and it makes it way easier to crochet and not have to worry about getting like carpal tunnel and stuff. Um, highly suggested, I, I've used those before. Uh, a crochet hook with a handle, big suggestion. Uh, crocheting without a handle is like a lot more difficult. So yeah, try to get a crochet hook with a handle if you can. Um, what else? Crochet hook with a handle. What other tools can we give as advice? I'm gonna add another, I'm gonna add one more spot. Um, I'll add one more spot. Well, let's see. That's pretty good though, actually. I don't, I don't hate those spots. We'll go. Do we need one more? Yeah, we'll do one more right here. We'll do a fourth. Usually I try to do just three, but we'll do four. What kind of gloves? I don't really know what they're called. They're like not even gloves really. Like they're, there's no fingers on them. Um, they're just like the, like the arms and they're just like a compressed, like look up carpal tunnel uh, uh, gloves. That might get you to find them. I think that's what I found when I was looking for it. I think that's right, but honestly, I don't know. Oh, oh yes, yes, what Ivy said. Do practice and make sure to stretch your hands. Like do not, don't overdo it basically. Um, the problem with getting hurt with crochet is doing a repetitive motion over and over again. So if you're making something like a blanket or a bunch of beanies, that's what happened to me is I was making a lot of beanies at the time. Um, that's what'll give you carpal tunnel. It's the exact, it's doing the same motion over and over. So if you consistently change up what you're crocheting, that'll help. Um, but also just giving yourself a break every now and then, that'll be really helpful. I had some stuffing just poking out of these, so I'm just getting rid of that. Um, I think this is the end of our sea turtle though. We even finished before six. I can't, honestly, I can't believe it. I was like, there's no way this is gonna go till seven or 7.30. But you know what helped? AJ. Thank you, AJ. Everybody, special thanks to AJ for speeding this up a little bit and uh, making it making it fun. Okay, so let's look at our sea turtle today. Not too shabby. And now I've got an extra one to give as a gift, which is even better. Super cute. Again, shout out to Sir Pearl Gray, the designer of this pattern. If you check the description, you can find links to his uh, website, his YouTube channel, and so on and so forth. Highly suggest you check him out. Um, he's a very talented amigurumi artist and friend, and I just can't say enough about how cool he is. So check out Philip if you can. Um, we're not going to do spots on arms because I don't want to. That's that's the why. That's the why. Uh, AJ, I'll email you about other stuff after this, but. I love that I put pipe cleaners in the arms it, because it like really helps them sit up, which is nice. Let's see if we can get them to stare at the camera too, which is cool. This is silly. There we go. Okay, all right. Now, first thing we wanna do is, uh, let's announce the winner of the giveaway. Let's look at the winner of the giveaway. We're going to switch to a cat cam for this. Oh man, I just realized the sound was being all weird. Sorry about that. Um, okay, winner of the giveaway. We're gonna choose someone at random. Stop the form entries and choose someone at random. Oh, and don't forget about Phoebe if she's willing. Okay, <laughs> will do. Hey, not very many people entered, uh, so. 
pretty good chance of winning right now. Only 36 people to go through. We're gonna choose a random number generator. All right, we have a winner. Okay, let's switch cameras real quick. All right, our winner of the giveaway, who's going to be receiving our brand new Jiminy Cricket pin. I mean, look at how freaking cute that is. It's so cute. Um, available in the shop, by the way. Our winner is Carolyn. Caroline, uh, also called Never Ending Nerd. Congratulations. I don't know if you were in the chat, but if you are, say hello. Hello, hello. Congratulations on your win. Uh, you'll be receiving a little pin. I'll be emailing you after this uh, and send it over to you. And also, good suggestion. They, they, their suggestion for an uh, next time's endangered creature should be a whale shark. And I like that idea a lot. Um, oh, that's your friend. Oh, congratulations to your friend. Oh, there you are, Never Ending Nerd. Thank you so much. Congratulations on winning. Uh, I'll me email you after this. Oh, I love all the congratulations buttons, by the way. Keep those going, that's cute. I love that. Okay, I'm gonna switch over to Jimbo really quick and go grab the tortoise as part of my promise. I'm gonna show you the tortoise. We're gonna talk about our next live stream and yeah, I'll be back in just a second. Uh, I just need to grab it. Uh, we'll switch this. Okay, as part of my promise to uh, AJ for beating me in the speed crochet along is I said I would show you what next week's pattern that we're going to be making is, uh, which is a tortoise. We're going to be making Tuck the Tiny Tortoise. Now, heads up, while I show you this, this is not the finalized pattern, not even close to the finalized pattern. I'm going to be finishing up this weekend. Um, so there's your, you know, warning because it is not finished. Uh, so yeah, sorry about that. But I did make a promise. Um, yes, and feel free, River, ask me a question in the comments if you'd like to. Uh, and the, and Tegan, the crochet, uh, the cactus competition isn't gonna start till um, uh, mid-May. So you still have, like May 15th-ish. Um, but I'll, I'll let you know when that's ready to go. Okay, here is the preview, not finished version of Tuck the tiny giant tortoise. You can kind of see how we've got a similar idea here because I but we both wanted to make turtles. Um, I made a tortoise instead of a turtle though. Here is our sea turtle and here's Tuck the tiny tortoise. Now what is special about Tuck is that all of these limbs, well first off, I did like the shell really interesting and the tail and stuff like that. You can see I did like try to do some design work in the shell. Um, I use this weird technique for making the limbs and stuff angle in a special way without using increasing and decreasing. It's really weird. I've never done anything like that. But the idea with Tuck is that I really wanted to make him so that he could tuck inside of his shell. So he can actually go into the shell like that, which is just really cute. Now, originally with this design, I really wanted to make it so that the arms could also tuck in to the shell. And they do a little bit, but what I found when I made this process is that, so like what I basically did is all of these arms and stuff can pop out of the body. So that was the trick like for how to make it so you could tuck it in, is that like they actually get, they're actually like removable, which makes it kind of like a toy. But as you can see, it doesn't really work the way I want it to. So what I'm gonna do with my new design later is I'm basically gonna make it so that the body is crocheted. The legs are gonna be sewn to the body, so the legs won't be able to tuck in, 
but the head will still be able to tuck in and out so that I don't, I still have a little bit of options there. And then I'm gonna try to explain in the pattern how to make it so you can tuck it in, like make all of the stuff tucking in if you wanna make it this way, if, uh, just just because like, might as well. But, um, but yeah, uh, the funny thing is like, though, the reason I was giving you so many heads up is like, it does look crazy, like it's, you know, it falls apart really easy because it's just a prototype. I didn't know if it was gonna work or not. And it kind of works, you know, it does a little bit. It doesn't work as well as I wish it would, but it kind of works. Um, it is kind of fun, especially, I really, what I like about this prototype is that you can turn the legs around like this, all the way upside down. And then it looks like a turtle that's skydiving, which is just funny. Ah! <laughs> yeah. So that is gonna be next week's pattern. Uh, uh, it'll be another one just like this one that's donate to download. We're gonna be trying to raise money for the World Wildlife Fund because this is another endangered creature, if you didn't know about that. We'll talk more about that next week though. Um, our live stream is gonna be next week, uh, same time, same place, Thursday. Uh, what day is that? Let's see, if it's the 27th, let's look at our calendar. Let's see. By the way, if you didn't know, uh, if you go onto the website, you can see the calendar of what live streams are coming out. Um, but it is gonna be the 4th of May. May the 4th be with you. How cool is that? Um, so next week on May 4th, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we'll be crocheting a tortoise. Hopefully you'll see a more fancy pattern. Uh, yeah, am I gonna fix the unicorn pattern? Oh shoot, yes, Becky, thank you for reminding me. I told, I actually did totally forget. Um, yeah, I'll, let me, um, I'll write that down after this so I don't forget. Uh, fix the unicorn pattern, got it. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Yes, I like complicated knots. I actually been meaning to reach out to them, so. I'm glad, uh, yeah, very cute. Uh, okay, okay, yes, yes, yes. Oh yeah, um. Is it bad when you're point, I mean, the answer to your question, River, is gonna be yeah. You, you, it shouldn't hurt to crochet in general. So it might be the way you crochet, it might be something's wrong with your finger. I don't know, you might wanna go see a doctor. Ask your parents, they, they might be able to give you more advice than I can when it comes to that kind of thing. Um, okay. All right, guys. Pasta La Pizza, thank you so much for joining again. I love this pattern. If you haven't yet, go purchase it. All the proceeds to the purchase. 100% of the proceeds go to the World Wildlife Fund. So it's a great it's a great way to help support uh, sea turtles in the wild, which is great. Um, thanks again for watching. Pasta La Pizza. Uh, am I gonna add more detail to the face on the tortoise? I probably will. Um, I definitely wanna make the mouth a little bit better. Uh, and I might add some like spots like I did on this guy, but uh, it'll be somewhat looking like this. It'll just work better. I'm also gonna add toes. Um, like I used the bean stitch for the toes, which are really, really subtle and not bad, but I have a different pattern that I use for the toes uh, in my second version that I'm working on right now. So it'll be a little different. Um, yeah, I think it'll be pretty interesting to see the prototype versus the finished one too. So you can see like how how it, like my process goes kind of. Um, okay, thanks again for watching. Pasta La Pizza, happy hooking, and I'll see you guys next week. We're gonna say bye via the Jimbo. Let's just watch this cat for a while. Wow, I mean, come on. Look at that dude, so cute. All right, everybody, bye. Oh my gosh, no, you hang up first. Oh my gosh, stop, I'm blushing. No, no, Cosmo, you hang up first. You're so bad. <laughs> All right, bye.
Oh my gosh, I almost forgot about Phoebe. Sorry, let me go get Phoebe and then I'll be back. Uh, as promised, I'll go try to find Phoebe real quick. Okay, as promised, this is little Beefy. Say hi, Beefy. Okay, let's, let's angle this down a little bit. Hi, Beef. Phoebe really likes belly rubs. That's her big thing. She's so sweet. She's so cute. Hi. What's up? Okay. All right. Bye.